Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with our September 17th new releases. Um, these were actually supposed to be our September 10th new releases and Advent pre-sale just started today as well, um, which was supposed to start last week on September 10th as well, but Monday I got really sick and it ended up being COVID, so I've been dealing with that. Today is the first day that I feel somewhat functional, but I still, now I have a cough and um, I still have like a little like congestion and stuff. So I'm gonna, this video might not be that in depth or very talkative because I don't wanna cough <laughs> and I also don't wanna overdo it. Um, so yeah, these are kind of like a week late um, than I had originally scheduled, but I just did not have the strength or energy to get Advent pre-sale and these up last week. So here they are this week. Um, so yeah, speaking of Advent pre-sale, um, we have that up on the site right now along with these new releases. This is the pre-sale of it, so it will not be shipping until mid to late November. We usually ship it like the week of Thanksgiving because we like to just have it out of the queue going into Thanksgiving, but um, depends on a lot of things, so we will see what happens this year. But um, I'll kind of just show you the graphic on my phone because I don't know how else to show it to you. Um, other than saying that I'm going to put graphics on the screen and I know that I'm not. Oh, did you see that just now? Never mind. It's fine. So here we go. Advent pre-sale 2024. We have three options. It's the same options as last year. Um, I think n now more than ever, um, these options apply a lot more this year than they do last year. Um, because there is kind of like, a lot of people have been talking about this lately, but there's kind of like a weird situation in the planner community where it's like people who want to use weekly kits and people who want to use decorative kits was very obvious to me during the birthday sale um that there's just kind of like this weird split so easiest way is to have um the three options which it's the same three options as last year so you can look at last year's um some of uh, last year's unboxing videos to kind of get an idea of um like what you can see in the kit lovers, what you can see in the deco lovers, and what you'll see in the sticker lovers, which the sticker lovers is just a bundle of the kit and deco lovers together. It's basically like you like both. So for the kit lovers, all of the kits in the advent will be in our new weekly kit format, which is unfortunate this week. Everything's in the old format for the weekly kit, but it's in the new weekly kit format that all the, like all the birthday sale kits were in that format just so you know. And then the deco lovers, all of the kits will be in the decorative kit format. And then all of the other days of the week, um, days of the week, now I have Amazon notifications coming in, but um, all the other items in the advent, all like all the other days in the advent um, will kind of like lean more towards, like if you pick the kit lovers, they'll lean more towards weekly planning. And if you pick the deco lovers, they'll lean more towards like journaling. And then if you get the sticker lovers, you just get both. Um, so kit lovers is 12 days, deco lovers is 12 days, and then sticker lovers, um, you don't get a discount by buying the sticker lovers. So it's 300 for the sticker lovers and 150 for each of the other ones. But instead of having a discount, you get a, um, extra day so you have 25 whole days if you wanted to do an actual like full 25 day countdown otherwise the other ones are 12 day countdowns so yeah so the um pre-sale is open until october 15th um it was originally open until october 8th but we're moving everything now so it's open until october 15th um this year's theme is seasons change exclusive artwork ships mid to late november and then all the good stuff. So all this pricing here is the pre-sale price. Um, so make sure that you take advantage of that um, if you're interested. Um, last year we did have extra sticker lovers boxes, but they when we went, when we put them up in the shop, they were no longer um, the pre-sale price. They were a little bit more expensive because it wasn't a pre-sale anymore. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything. Um, also another thing here, December mystery. Not December, September Mystery. So September Mystery, Son of Serpent. I'm just going to go ahead and show this to you since I already have my phone on the screen. I already said I was going to talk a bunch, and here I am talking a bunch. But 
Here is the mystery for September. Sign ups for this close on September 25th. Um, so keep that in mind. But I put little countdowns on the site so it's easier for you to tell if you're actually being able to subscribe for September. Um, the sign ups close at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 25th. Um, and nine times out of ten, I'm not awake at that time. And if I am, the last thing I'm going to do is go and change the mood board picture. So I just made it so that there's a little countdown on there. So there's no confusion on what month that you're signing up for. But it says, snuggle up next to a crackling fire for this month's mystery. Does somebody say, cozy cabin getaway, don't miss out. So this is a cozy cabin getaway kit. I love this kit. Um, I put this box here because I thought it was so freaking cute. Like, look how cute that is. Um, but it's like... Uh, it's so pretty. It's very like sparkly snow vibes. Um, so I guess by watching this video you get a little bit more details on um, what is going on. Um, one second. I'm going to try to turn on Do Not Disturb even though I'm basically done talking. Um, so yeah, the things there, all the new releases are here, the new foil. The advent is here on the front page as well, and then the countdown for the September mystery. Um, and then you can also just, I made it easy to find with just a little advent 2024 tab. So um, for the kit lovers, this, I can't, without making a separate listing, I can't get rid of this. So just ignore whether or not it says white or washi um, because it's just, it's kit lovers. So the kit just comes in white anyway. But for the deco lovers, you can pick whether or not you want white or washi. And then the sticker lovers, you're picking the paper type for the deco lovers items since it's kit and deco lovers put together. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, so that is everything in terms of that. Let's just go ahead and get into the new releases. Um, I want to preface this with um, this is the December monthly. Um, this kit was designed in... July, I think. Um, so um, it is the old decorative format, the old monthly format. Well, the only you haven't seen the new monthly format yet, but old monthly format and the old weekly format. Um, just because it's already designed, printed, everything. So um, keep that in mind. The English kit is also the old, old format as well. This is the last old format kit that we haven't released yet. So I just put them all together. Um, However, because we're doing like the new decorative kits and stuff like that with the weeklies, because of that, this was designed afterwards, I have the decorative kit for English in the new format. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and just show you the foil first, um, just to get that out of the way. So this week um, is a little bit different. I don't know why they're in this order. Let's see here. Um, so we have tags and tickets this week. So um, a lot of you guys really like those journal scraps. So I really wanted to do a couple more things, like try to do a couple more things that are um, kind of along those lines. These are in rose gold foil just because both kits are rose gold this week. Although, um, on my little monitor, they almost look silver, but they're rose gold, I promise. So, um, we have floral, coffee ring, leaf, and pumpkin. So, floral is going to be, like, a permanent item-ish. Um, as in, it's not seasonal, because I feel like florals are not seasonal. So, we have the floral tickets, the coffee ring tickets, the leaf tickets, and the pumpkin tickets. So the leaves and pumpkins are seasonal. And then we have tags as well, which look how stinking cute these little tags are. I love these. Oh, it's not even focusing. Hello. Can we please look at the pretty stickers? Thank you. Um, so we have the floral tags here. I'm showing them to you sideways just because I should have done on other pages as well, but that's how they're formatted on the sheet because they fit best this way. So we have the coffee ring tags, the leaf tags, and the pumpkin tags. So that's it for the foil this week. Super simple. Let's go ahead and do the December monthly. I'm going to go ahead and take this of my drink real quick. 
I can feel my throat getting dry and I know that's gonna trigger like a coughing attack um, and that's just not fun for me I did lose my taste for like 36 hours so that was super fun um, let's back now anyway so now we have our December monthly and this is the A5 wine now I feel my voice going so don't know how much talking I'll do from here on out of course because I blabbed about the advent for so long um, but here is the A5 wide or 7x9 monthly and this is December it's in rose gold foil we have like a tree here on a sled here we have a little like I don't want to say like a pimp, pimp pump not even pumpkin picnic <laughs> Ooh, we have a like almost like a picnic-ish sort of spread but it's like almost like a kitchen towel with like you're making cookies on it and then like a present and some candles there with some gingerbread men super cute here is the second page and the holidays are Christmas Eve, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, New Year's Eve, and then the birthday ones. And then, look at me go. Um, I brought both the checklist and the decorative sidebars. So you can see them here. So here is the checklist and here is the decorative. For the decorative here, you have a tree and a chair and a present. I normally don't really lean super Christmas for December time. I feel like I could be wrong though. Um, but this month is like, I feel like it's not very like in your face Christmas, but it's definitely like Christmas feeling. So um, yeah, so here's the decorative sidebar. Um, so that is the A5Y 7x9 monthly. We have the weekly here as well. Maybe I should zoom out just a teeny dad. So here are the full boxes, matches that pretty well. So here you have a little flat lay with a sweater, candy canes, a gingerbread man, and a present. Foiled florals, of course. Bill's wanted to make a little appearance, so I had Bill. Have a little window here with some foiled like ornaments and such, and um, like a wreath on it. Here the quote says, cold hands, warm heart. You have that same little baking seen there. Here we have some trees with this girl here with a bow in her hair. This is that same scene from the decorative sidebar. Like I said, this is in the old format. Um, totally would have updated this if we didn't already like print and make it, but it would just be like a colossal waste to like remake it. So um, yeah, so for the colors of the kit, you have red, green, pink, and beige. Here is the functional page. We have like this sweater-ish pattern in the headers. Of course, your foiled florals. Here is the bottom washi with that same sweater-ish pattern and the thin strip of washi. Lots of deco here with the, um, the cookies, gingerbread man, a hot chocolate chair, the candles with the present, gingerbread house, candy cane and then that tree on the sled and then your deep covers are in green um i don't have the floral deck not floral deck, foiled sampler add-on with me um this morning has been super hectic um and i already feel like <laughs> with everything that went wrong last week everything's going wrong again today so um i just called it quits on looking for that um, so we have, we're just going to skip through to the deco add-on. If you want to see the foil sampler add-on, um, it's on the site. Um, but yeah, but here is the deco add-on. So we have, um, that like plaid blanket thing, sweater, tree, candy canes, cookies, present, more present with candle, tree on the sled, more candy canes, chair and gingerbread man, and then of course some florals. Here is the journal add-on, the floral deco add-on, and the alcohol ink swatch add-on. Very holiday themed ink swatches if you 
we're looking for some of those. I'm gonna go ahead and flip you through the decorative kit just really quickly. Um, like I said, this is the old format, so there's no foil. And I'm showing it to you here on white. So we have the flowers, the edges, the bouquets, the corners, borders, dates and dots, days, paper strips, box swatches, deco, washi swatches, and the mini swatches. So that is the complete December monthly collection. Um, with that, I am going to say that we did opt to not get pet tape, um, at least for the time being. Um, the amount of people interested in it was is just like not enough to, because it's produced by another manufacturer because we can't make it in-house. It just doesn't really seem, um, the, the numbers just don't really make sense to keep doing it. So, um, for now we are putting a pin in that and not doing pet tapes with our monthly collections. Um, might revisit in the future, might reformat it or something. I almost wanted to do at least just finish out December with it, but we didn't even start the year with it. Um, and I order two months at a time, so I would be ordering the January at the same time, but the January is going to be a new format, so then I felt like I would need to reformat the pet tape, so I just went ahead and I skipped it altogether. Um, so yeah, um, if that's something that you ordered, I'm sorry, um, but um, we are working on like doing a couple other things um, now, so... Um, but it was fun while it lasted. Um, so yeah, anyway, back to our other kit for the week. This is also in rose gold foil. This kit's called English, and this is also in the old format, um, just so that you know, but um, the quote says, do small things with great love. You have a scene up here and down here. Here's a little flat lay of food and a flat lay of an outfit. We have this record player with some music coming out of it, and then here a little violin and a teddy bear. Here are the colors of the kit, so you have like a rich deep red, a brown, a beige, and then like this cream color. Here is the functional page. The washi page. I do have the foil sampler for this one, so you can see here we have the um, the swirly music washi and the dividers. You have some Monday through Sunday here, music notes, falling leaves, individual leaves, a typewriter, and two record players. Here is the deco add-on. The journal add-on, the floral deco add-on, and the alcohol ink swatches. I can feel my nose starting to run, so I'm gonna try to get through this last part. Um, sorry, my eyes is really loud. Um, so. Like I said, here is the, the decorative kit is in the new format just because it was designed and made afterwards. Um, so I'm showing it here on washi. I do wanna going forward show these on white paper because I feel like it shows them a little bit better, but um, some of the pages were not ready yet in white. So I just wanted to go ahead and show on washi so you could at least see everything, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them here on the table so you can see it a little bit better, um, but here, 
we have the flowers. That's the first page. I'll show you the foil first here. So we have the bouquets with the rose gold foil on it. And you can see it better here like that. Here are the elements. The edges, and I'll show you the foil first. I love these, lots of like music, little motifs throughout, and foiled music as well, really pretty. Here is the layered page. Again, lots of music here as well. Right behind here, you have like the grungy music and then the foiled music coming out of the record player. Like that. Lots of music up there as well. Here is the paper strips. I see like the distrust there. Some music here with some florals. Here are your days and dates. I keep moving them like too far. Oh, sorry. I need to pay attention to what's showing on the screen. <laughs> um, here is the borders. Here are the borders. I can English good sometimes. Um, so pretty. I love this. And here you can see a little bit better here with the white background. The scenes. The box swatches. And here with the foil. Pulled these from the full boxes as usual. And then here are the swatches. So that is everything that I have for you guys this week. Um, again, sorry. And this video still ended up being 22 minutes, even though I really wanted it to be a little bit shorter, but it's okay. I don't know how to turn the blabbing off sometimes. Um, so yeah, just as a recap, we have the English kit full format in the decorative kit in the new format. We have the December decorative, old format, the December weekly in the old format, and the December monthly. And then we have the tickets and the tags for the foil. And then, like I said, the advent presale is up already. So many guys, I haven't even posted about it yet or anything. And some people have already purchased it. So if that is you, thank you so much. You are so on top of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you have any questions about Advent, feel free to email or leave a comment down below. Um, we do have quite a few unboxings on YouTube over the years of different Advents. But if you want to see kind of like more... I guess like closer to what it's going to be this year. Last year would be the best one to watch just because it has that kit lovers and deco lovers and then the sticker lovers versions. So definitely check that out um, if you are just a little bit curious. I will say it's a little bit, it is going to be a little bit more different this year. Um, this year is, I don't want to give it away too much, but um, uh, I did get some feedback to focus a little bit more on stickers, so that is the goal with this year, is to focus a little bit more on stickers, especially because it's called Sticker Lovers, and it is Sadie Stickers. So, um, yeah, but I'm so excited. I think, I was doing the math, I think I technically undervalued the retail value that we listed. Shh, only you guys get to know that, I guess, but, um... But just, it's fine. Um, I don't want to, I always want to make it so that we, you know, say that it's going to be less than it's actually going to be one, like, for a surprise. And two, just in case some people, like, find that they're going to, like, just, like, completely not use a day. If you take that out, then it's still w of the value for them. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I'm done blabbing. Maybe I've said too much about <laughs> Advent now already. Um... But yeah, definitely go check that out if that is something that you're looking to purchase. Um, it is a higher ticket item, so I did leave the pre-sale open for a longer period of time because I know everyone's um, like 
schedule with their finances is like so different. So just wanted to make it so we have a full month so that it hopefully works for everyone. Um, but if you missed the presale, we will hopefully have um, ready to ship boxes closer to December, but they will be a higher price, so keep that in mind. But um, we do have um, like shop pay and after pay and stuff like that on our website too for financing options, um, if that is something that you're interested. But otherwise, um, don't feel like you have to buy the advent. Um, it is a fun thing that we do every single year, so um, or at least have been doing every single year. So, um, you know, just keeping the tradition going, and we do appreciate that you guys love it so much. So that is all, even if Advent is one week late, but it's fine. Um, still the same amount of time. So I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to go ahead and end the video and I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully we'll be feeling better next week with next week's new releases. Um, but at this point, who knows? <laughs> so we'll see. Um, I hope that you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye.